In this video, we'll be showing you how to calibrate the DECCON DM700 Toxic Gas Sensor Unit. As with all calibrations, be sure that the operator knows you are going to be doing a calibration, and confirm that the unit is in bypass mode. When in calibration mode, the milliamp signal will go from a normal operating signal to a 2 milliamp signal, and may trigger a shutdown. We will start with zeroing the unit. Using the magnet that is supplied with the unit, hold it above the icon PGM1 at the transmitter. An arrow will appear on the display indicating that you are interacting with the transmitter. The arrow will be pointing left indicating that you are selecting PGM1. After a few seconds, the operational display will change to the calibration menu, which will display PGM1 equals zero and PGM2 equals span going across the screen. If you do not hold your magnet over either PGM1 or PGM2, the calibration menu will go back to the operational display in operational mode after two cycles of the calibration menu. While in operational mode, apply the zero gas to the sensor element. Hold the magnet over PGM1 to bring up the calibration menu. From there, hold the magnet over PGM1 for another five seconds. The display will state zero cal twice across the screen. At this point, the magnet can be removed from the transmitter. It will then scroll setting zero twice. Once it is finished, it will finally state zero saved across the screen twice. After this, the unit will go back into operational mode. Next, we will span the sensor element. Taking your span gas, in this case 50 parts per million H2S, have it on standby. Hold the magnet over PGM1 until it brings up the calibration menu. From there, hold the magnet over PGM2 for 5 seconds. During this time, an arrow will point right on the display, indicating that it is registering PGM2. The display will read span cal, then apply 50 parts per million H2S gas. You may now apply the span gas to the sensor element. As the span is in process, you will be able to see on the display that the readings will be going up. Once the sensor has leveled out with the calibration gas, it will wait a few moments to confirm that it has reached the span mark, at which point it will reset whatever reading is on the display to the span level, in this case 50 parts per million H2S. After this has happened, it will blink the span level reading a few more times to ensure that the level is correct. Once it has been confirmed, the display will state span OK, what the sensor life is at in percentage, and remove gas. At this point, you can remove the span gas, the display will start to lower. It is our recommendation that at this point you use zero gas to flush out the sensor system. Once it reaches 4 parts per million, the unit will indicate that it has been successfully spanned. This completes our tutorial on the zero and span calibration of the DECCON DM700 Toxic Gas Sensor Unit. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to contact us directly using the email provided in the description below. And if you found this tutorial useful, please like this video and subscribe to our channel to receive updates on more ProTech product tutorials.